This is going to be a brief but detailed description on macronutrients. This is going to be all you need to know. Anyway, before we get started, let me just hit a couple of flexes. Boom! Anyway, before we get started, I really want to express the emphasis when I say understand food labels, not the label of food. And what I mean by this is don't just label food healthy, therefore it will affect your body composition this way. Or this is healthy, this is not healthy, therefore this will make you fat. So let's get started. Protein. Two types of proteins. Complete proteins incomplete proteins. So all complete proteins is, is the amino profile is made up of 20 total amino acids. So this makes it complete. Example of a complete protein is any animal protein, any meat or any product from an animal such as cheese or milk or whey. That's where whey protein is from, just waste product of making cheese. And an incomplete protein is simply a protein with amino profile less than 20. So it may have 10 amino acids that make up the protein. And in this case, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you need to supplement either a whey protein or say you have an amino profile that lacks something else, rather you bring in another incomplete protein that makes a complete protein. So you could, for example, having beans and some other kind of beans, whatever, okay? So, a lot of people misunderstand how much protein you actually need. You don't need that much. People say two plus grams is, is what you need to build muscle. This is wrong. And actually, it can be actually very unhealthy to have two grams of protein per pound of body weight. What I'd recommend, and most other qualified nutrition would recommend, is between one and 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Uh, the second thing I want to make point on protein is that more is not necessarily better. Protein goes towards uh, obviously protein synthesis and the repair of muscle. Now more is not better. Two grams per pound is not going to be any significantly different than one to 1.5 grams of protein per pound. <clears throat> So the next macronutrient is carbohydrates. Now, most people are terrified of carbohydrates. Modern day society thinks that even looking at carbs will make you fat. This is not true in the slightest. Carbs is going to be the best and should be the majority of your uh, total calorie in intake and the main source of energy. Now, you want to keep your carbs as high as possible without getting too fat. It should be at least 40% of your total calorie intake. Now, there's two main types of carbohydrates that people need to be aware of. That's a monosaccharide, such as sugar, just simple sugar, fructose, and polysaccharides, more complicated, complex carbs. Now, example of a complex carbohydrate, simply stated, brown rice, uh, I guess white rice, just, I mean, you know this, Gerald. So... Is there a difference between a monosaccharide, a simple carbohydrate, and a complex carbohydrate? In terms of sport performance, yes. In terms of how you feel, maybe yes. I mean, what I mean by how you feel psychologically, so for example, if you ate a whole bunch of sugar, you're not going to feel that great. But in terms of body composition, there is no difference. You don't need to worry about meal timing, intake of carbs, not eating carbs late at night, and avoiding things like Bricked. It's not going to affect your bodybuilding or your composition as long as you're meeting your macronutrient intake. So hence, in this case, we're talking about carbohydrates. So if you need to get 250 carbohydrates in, make sure you're getting them in. And make sure you get fruit and veg. That's also important. And lots of fiber. The next macronutrient we're going to be talking about is fat. So basically with fat, again, people think when you diet, you need to totally avoid fat. And when you're bulking, bump up fat to crazy ridiculous amounts again this is a big misconception all you really need is 20 percent of total calorie intake to be fats now if you're kind of guessing what what calories you're taking in 
A good estimate will be anywhere between 45 grams and 60 grams of fat per day if dieting and anything between 60 and 75 is going to be a good estimate if for bulking. Now, so to break this down, there's three different types of fats. That's polyunsaturated, monounsaturated and saturated fat. Now, most of you will know about saturated because that's the one that gets all the bad press. But saturated fat is really not all that bad. I mean, all in moderation, right? Now, would I recommend cutting down on saturated? Well, if you're exceeding your daily recommended, now I'm talking about over 50-60% of your daily fat coming from saturated, I'll definitely reduce this and switch to something such as a polyunsaturated. So maybe switch your peanuts for hazelnuts, for example. What does fat do for our body? Well, basically fat takes has more a bigger role in functions of hormones and just general body on body chemical functions such as cellulose activity another example would be absorption absorption of vitamins and minerals as well as just general regulation of hormones so so some people who got really low in fat when dying can have issues with testosterone even have little issues with downstairs apartment and getting up if you know what I mean so make sure you don't drop your fat too drastically because fat is important it has a big effect on how you feel and just mood swings and a lot of people mistake carbohydrates for having an effect on moods but generally fat can play a big role as well as just carbohydrates but anyway I hope this video helped just a quick brief video like I said to keep it under 10 minutes anyway guys make sure you subscribe if you like this video, make sure you click that little like button because it helps me out a lot, makes my video notes and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye.